Welcome to the Home Downsizing Show. My name is Ben Socek, your host and the owner and founder of Home Downsizing Solutions. With the Home Downsizing Show, I want to provide you the information and resources to make the downsizing of your house stress and hassle-free. So sit back and enjoy the show. Thank you for joining us. Senior Care Live. I'm Steve Keeker, your Senior Care Consultant, and I really appreciate you tuning in today. We have an excellent program for you here today. Uh, in studio, my friend and special guest, Mr. Ben Socek with Home Downsizing Solutions. And Ben, welcome to Senior Care Live. Hello, Steve. Thank you for having me on again today. Great to be here, and hopefully we can give the listeners some great information uh, on the show today. There's no no doubt about it, no doubt in my mind, and I think our listeners are really going to benefit from this great information. Uh, so if you're listening, you're tuning in, you're like, well, what's this all about? Let me give you some information, some contact information. Uh, right, so Ben, we can call your cell phone. You want a cell phone? Or, okay. Uh, so Ben Ben gave me the the nod, the, uh, the, the yep, that's fine, Steve. <laughs> nod. So uh, reach out to Ben at 402 402- Four five zero zero one nine nine. That's Ben Socek with Home Downsizing Solutions. Four zero two four five zero zero one nine nine, or online at Home Downsizing Solutions. Dot com. It's an excellent website. And uh, Ben, uh, let's, uh, I mean, we're still introducing, you know, all of us to a national audience now. So uh, could you give us an overview? What services do you offer at Home Downsizing Solutions? Absolutely. Thank you, Steve. The, the primary thing that we focus on is helping seniors and their families transition from their house that they probably owned a long time, maybe needs repairs and updating, to uh, either a smaller home or apartment or other type of senior community in the what we term the fastest, easiest, most convenient way to make that happen for them. Okay, and you're buying uh, homes in an as-is condition. So if someone's out there saying, "Oh, wait a minute, I'm going to have to, uh, you know, we, we're going to have to paint, we're going to have to do a lot of work uh, to to get this house in a condition to sell," well, that's not what we're talking about. That's more of an approach for a retail uh, approach or a strategy. Isn't that correct? Yes. What we specialize in uh, the really the benefits that people find value in the reason that they would do business with us is if they have a house that needs repairs, maybe needs updating, maybe it's going to need a number of things for a traditional uh, buyer to qualify for a loan or to get traditional insurance on. Uh, maybe they want to stay in the house a while before they make that trans- transition if their new home or apartment just isn't ready for them. And so if they find the convenience, the ease to work with us, and uh, just to skip all the potential hassles of selling a house in a traditional manner, Mm -hmm. that's why they would come to us. Okay. And if you're anything like it, a lot of my clients have lived in their home for uh, not years, but for decades. And, uh, you know, so we've lived in our house for about, I don't know, 16 and a half years. It's kind of amazing how much stuff you accumulate. So if you've lived in the house for decades and and uh, it, it's it's very easy to have clutter, just have too much stuff. And, uh, and frankly, as you're getting older, just some things will fall into disrepair, maybe out of style. Maybe it needs some update and some repair. And uh, the, the choices are you spend months getting all of these things finished and tens and tens of thousands thousands of dollars, uh, maybe even more than that, uh, or you can sell the house as is and just walk away. That's absolutely correct. Uh, again, the, uh, the the typical person that we work with appreciates and values those benefits that, that we can offer to them. And really, that's just to make a stress-free, hassle-free sale and for them to be able to transition to their next home or apartment whenever they want to. All right, that is excellent. Home Downsizing Solutions, Mr. Ben Socek at 402-450-0199 or online at homedownsizingsolutions.com. And Ben, earlier, this is the hot topic on everyone's just top of mind. Well, there are a lot of things top of mind, but this one is on the top of the heap. Uh, the cost of everything and inflation and everything. So we had a uh, we had a monthly market update on that inflation figure earlier this week. 
uh, that's correct. Actually, just to, that I heard this morning, the numbers for August were uh, inflation year over year were 8.3 percent, which is uh, down a tiny bit, I guess, from the last couple of months. But it's still a very hot, uh, very high inflation number. And I believe the month to month numbers were a little higher than they were expecting as well. Mm-hmm. And so uh, long term mortgage rates, 30 year mortgage rates were at or just over 6% before they announced those numbers. Ouch. Yep. So, again, I don't have any crystal ball. I'm not I'm not a, uh, a PhD in, in economics or anything like that, but uh, that would tell me that interest rates are going to continue to go up. Uh, the Federal Reserve has signaled that they're going to be aggressive in getting inflation down, and so that would tell, I think, uh, myself and others that they're going to keep raising those rates until that inflation number comes down. Uh, which is not necessarily good for the housing market if you're wanting to sell. That's right. And and if you're and and if you're wanting to buy, you're going to put the brakes on that because frankly we got pretty spoiled with I mean less than 2 years ago what was inflation is 1. Point something it was under 2. Uh, now it's 8.3 and you can celebrate all you want and that's better than 8.5 but not much it still stinks. <laughs> it, it does and and really the amazing thing too is less than 12 months ago Long-term interest rates on houses were less than 3%. Yeah. And so now they've more than doubled with that continuation uh, going going forward for some time. Yeah, they're, they're going to keep going up. And I've heard that the Fed is going to uh, raise uh, po- uh, three-quarters of a percent. And there's some speculation that because it only went down to 8.3, there's some speculation that they may even go over that. And that's just speculative at this point, but that's a lot. I, I think that's uh, certainly the talk. I The way it sounds, like it's a consensus that they will raise the three-quarters of a point or 75 basis points. And it depends on whether, I guess, enough of the Fed governors want to go over that to try and and get in front of this. But uh, again, I have no crystal ball on any of this, but uh, it's it's going to put more pressure for people that want to buy a home. It's going to reduce their buying power, which typically translates into lower uh, housing prices, but um, that will remain to be seen. And if, if fewer fewer buyers, because guess what? If, if I... I used to be able to buy a, a house at 3%. Now it's costing me low sixes, probably going up after, you know, after this most recent report and the Fed's adjustment anticipated yet this month. Okay. That could go up to six and a half. Now we're approaching seven. And all of a sudden they're like, you know what? This house doesn't look so bad. We're, <laughs> we're going to hold up and we're going to wait for these pri- these interest rates to come back down. Uh, why don't we just uh, you know fix up our house or just or just sit here and just not move or stay in our apartment and, and forego buying a house right now and maybe we'll buy one a few years down the road. So all of a sudden you have fewer you have fewer buyers and now now you're in real trouble. It's uh, again it's it's hard to say what's going to happen. There's a lot of speculation about what can happen. Uh, there's the the train of thought that maybe housing prices won't go down because there will be less buyers or there will be less. Uh, it, there's a it's a tight housing market anyway. Yeah. So if people don't want to sell, there's going to be at least some demand for buyers out there. But also there's what's driven. I think what's driven a lot of this market the last two or three years is a lot of investor activity. Mm. Big hedge funds putting billions of dollars buying a bunch of single-family residential houses. I think a lot of that's gone away from what I hear. And so that's going to affect the market also and reduce that demand that's been there for the last couple of years. And so going forward, it's going to be interesting to what the next 6 to 12 months uh, really does in the market. So what does this have to do with selling your house as is? Well, uh, it's it's very, very much related. So if you're in your house and you're looking at downsizing, maybe you're moving from your house to an independent living apartment, on this program, we talk a, a lot with Ben about selling your home as is and moving into a senior care community. Independent living, assisted living, you may or may not need memory care along the way. Uh, you may need full-blown long-term care also known as a nursing home. And if you need to do that, Ben, sometimes we have a timing situation where if I sell my house, what if I have to wait a couple of months for my assisted living apartment to become available? Correct. That's, again, one of the biggest benefits that people really like with us 
is uh, that or maybe just a regular apartment if a person's been in a house a long time and they've been keeping an eye on a part of town, maybe a particular complex, apartment complex, and that ground floor unit that accepts pets becomes available and they want to they, <laughs> they want to be gone right now. They yeah. don't they don't want to wait 30 days or 60 days. They want their house sold this week. And so we've we've accom- uh, accommodated that type of situation as well as the opposite like you mentioned of uh letting the person stay in the house for up to 90 days. Does the impact of increasing interest rates affect your ability to sell your house as is? Is that question yes or no? And the answer is no. The answer is no. And I suppose, Ben, you could say it depends, but I'm I'm thinking no because uh, you're still you're still out talking to people and buying houses as is. So I, I would say no, but you might disagree with me. <laughs> as far as a yes or no answer, I think you're correct that that uh, I'll I'll buy houses in any market. That's absolutely correct. The from a seller's perspective, though, if interest rates go up or continue to go up, that would typically uh, affect the price or value of what others will see in your house yep. traditionally. Mm-hmm. So, whereas this spring a person might have had a, for example, a two hundred thousand dollar house, because a potential buyer can now qualify for just a lower amount for a loan. They might see a hundred and fifty or hundred seventy five thousand dollar house, not a two hundred thousand dollar house because it's all driven by that monthly affordability monthly factor payments. yeah mm-hmm. that's right that's right and all of a sudden if the interest rates doubled and more than doubled uh, all of a sudden ooh our our monthly payment just went up so we can only afford you know x dollars versus all of these premium uh, uh, rates that ev- not rates but sales prices that everyone we were getting just just as recently as springtime Correct. It's and that is the surprising thing. That surprising thing, if I can speak here this morning, yep. is that um, this is really happening pretty quick. Uh, just a few months ago, it was a hot market when a person could put a house on the market and have multiple offers within literally a few days, and typically over asking price. And now we're certainly seeing a change from that, where a house will actually be sitting on the market uh, for a while, depending on where the market is or where your local geographic market is yeah. and where you're at in a particular town. And so it's it's changing rapidly and with interest rates going up, it's it's going to continue, I believe. That'll keep that'll continue. There's no doubt about it. So if you're interested in exploring the option of selling your house as is for cash, I would reach out to Ben Socek. He makes this whole process very simple. He can turn this around very quickly. And there are some situations where if you need to, you need your cash in hand, but you still need to stay in the house uh, for a period of time while you're waiting for your new home to be ready to go. Uh, he'll let you do that. 402-450-0199. That's Home Downsizing Solutions. Ben Socek, 402-450-0199. You can visit online at homedownsizingsolutions.com. And Ben, uh, previously in, in some of the programs, we talked about this a few months back, I believe. We talked about these wholesalers, and uh, since the money was so cheap and the, the, there were so many buyers, they would promise to sell your house as is with no intention of buying that house as is. And then they would turn around and basically look to flip the house, find a buyer for the house, and then make money on a paper transaction. Uh, so what uh, will wholesalers do now that the market is starting to change very quickly? What I was would suspect, and of course, they're out there advertising that they will buy your house just like a real house buyer would, but you're correct with without the intention or typically financial ability to actually close on that property uh, because they don't have any skin in the game. They are sometimes likely to overpromise what they can pay for a house, but it sounds t- uh, pretty good to a seller that is looking for understandably the highest and best price that they can get for their house. Yeah, but um, they will tip it, the wholesaler will typically ask for a, a 21 to 30 day uh, inspection period which is a way that they can get their potential buyers into the house. That gives them time to market your house online mm-hmm. and find find another buyer because they're not really the buyer. Correct. 
and with pictures that they sometimes get the seller to take for them oh. if they're not in the area. Yeah. But uh, with with this market that's starting to correct, their end buyers are starting to lower their prices that they're willing to pay for a house if they're even willing to step into the market this at this point because of the problems with supply chain issues with getting supplies to re- rehab a house. And so what that can do is lead to a seller not actually finding a real buyer to buy their house when they think they're going to. So my anticipation would be either the either the wholesaler is going to come back and ask for a lower price mm-hmm. or they're just going to go away. I think we're going to see fewer I'm all the you pointed it out and then I started paying attention and I started seeing all of these wholesaling programs and call today and you can get rich and you know, all, all this stuff. And I'm like, oh, that's exactly what Ben told me about. <laughs> I think we're going to see a lot of those uh, folks just kind of go away because that uh, th- this uh, cha- rapidly changing market, increasing interest rates, that kind of breaks their model. Correct. If, if they don't have, just like back in 2009, uh, after the 2008 eight market correction, if if they only have one way to sell a house, i.e. find the higher buyer that they can flip their contract to, and that goes away, then they have nothing they have left nothing to, to offer, offer a seller. Yeah. And yeah. so something similar to that happened back in 2008, 2009. Yep. And so if, if you're a real seller looking for a real solution, then it's going to be a challenge working with someone like that when they, they really don't have any financial backing or interest intent to actually buy your house. All right. And uh, let me say that that wholesaler uh, model, I, to me, it's it's pretty shady. I, I think I don't I think it should be illegal, frankly. But uh, that is not what Home Downsizing Solutions does. Uh, ben and his team uh, will will look at your house, uh, make you a fair and legitimate cash offer. If you accept, they buy your house. There's no funny business here at uh, Home Downsizing Solutions, 402-450-0199 or online at homedownsizingsolutions.com. And Ben, we only have about a, a minute or so left, uh, but tell us uh, quickly about your home downsizing secrets that's a book that you've written to help uh, uh, our listeners well and everyone actually absolutely it's a a book that i wrote to go through what i would term the reality of of selling a house in a a a regular market again we had a very hot market for for the last couple of years but in in typical markets there's uh, certain things a person has to do or has to take into account when they want to sell a house and so I wrote that book to expose people to the realities of doing that. And they can just go to homedownsizingsecrets.com to get a free copy, or they can call our office uh, toll-free, 855-291-5005, and we'd be happy to send them out a copy free of charge as well. Okay, what was that toll-free number again, Ben? 855-291-5005, or homedownsizingsecrets. Dot com. Okay, and how much does the book cost? Uh, the free book. Uh, if you want a hard copy on the website, you would just pay for shipping and handling. Okay, wow. That, that's a deal. HomeDownsizingSecrets.com. You will learn a lot. And uh, so, I would again, I, I would recommend uh, reaching out, again, to Ben Selchek with Home Downsizing Solutions, and he will take great care of you. Ben, thanks so much for being here today. I really appreciate it, and keep up the great work. Absolutely. Thank you, Steve, for having me, and I hope your listeners got, uh, got some value out of the show today. They definitely did. No doubt about it. Thank you for listening to this episode of The Home Downsizing Show. For additional information and resources on home downsizing, just go to homedownsizingblueprint.com. That's homedownsizingblueprint.com. Or if you're ready to sell your house and downsize, just go to homedownsizingsolutions.com. That's homedownsizingsolutions.com. And if you have ideas, to improve our show or topics that you'd like us to cover or have any questions that we can answer, just call our office toll-free 855-291-5005. That's 855-291-5005. Thank you.